Hi everyone. Wishing you a very good day. I am Dimuthu. Before starting the session, I would like to give a brief explanation about this module. This module basically describes how we can use information technology in healthcare settings. Objectives of this module are to gain knowledge about health and information systems applied in different healthcare settings, to identify the basic concepts of application of healthcare information systems, to understand the new concept of information technology applications such as telemedicine and e-health, to gain understanding about nursing informatics which enhance professional care outcomes, and finally, to identify the legal and ethical issues arising with healthcare information. You will be assessed using a final exam and an assignment. Each carries 50% of marks for the final marks. Now, I am going to give a brief introduction to hospital and healthcare information system. The use of information and computer technology in healthcare is not new. Deploying information and computer technology in healthcare environment has helped healthcare professionals to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of healthcare services. Healthcare information system that can record and locate important information quickly have become a standard practice in many healthcare organizations. The current status of hospital and healthcare information system varies among countries. There are 193 countries that are a member of World Health Organization in 2009. 114 of them participated in the global survey on e-health. Most developed countries have fully utilized healthcare information system in their systems as they have the resources expertise and capital to implement them. While developing countries healthcare information systems have not fully utilized yet. Modern healthcare system in modern um, Healthcare information system includes many applications addressing the needs of various departments in a hospital. They manage the data related to clinic, finance department, laboratory, nursing, pharmacy and also the many investigation areas. The hospitals that have switched to healthcare information system have access to quick and reliable information including patients' records, illustrating details about their demographics like gender and age, etc. Let's see what are the benefits of effective healthcare information system. First benefit is it enhances information integrity. Second, it reduces transaction errors. Thirdly, it reduces duplication of information entries. Fourth, it op optimizes report turnaround time. Fifth, it increases efficiency of human resources. It is estimated that 40% of Human resource time is spent on information gatherings, 
processing and disseminating work so uh, it so effective healthcare information re system reduces this time in healthcare information system you basically handle data and information so now we'll see what is the difference between data and information data are raw facts data are raw facts without context but information are data with context and it is processed data are just numbers but information are value added data which is summarized organized or analyzed data if you take number of deaths of infants from each hospital in a given year and number of live births in each hospital in the same year it is called data but you can calculate infant mortality rate in the given year using the above data it is called information i think now you can understand the difference between data and information now we'll see what are the primary objectives of healthcare information systems first is to provide quality care second to make cost effective hospital third to enhance decision making process fourth to support user confidence and fifth to boost hospital professionals commitment now we'll see why we need hospital information system or for what we need hospital and healthcare information system so these are the requirements we need his for we need his for daily management of operations competitive planning strategies controlling dissemination of information processing volumes of data to provide information for medical and financial auditing inventory management interaction between department heads for planning coordinating and controlling activities and provision of information for national level policy decision making we can use HIS for different departments as we discussed earlier. As I mentioned earlier, nursing department, medical department, radiology department, pharmacy department and laboratory department are some of the departments that we can use HIS. So, nursing information systems are designed to help nurses provide better patient care a good nursing information system can perform number of functions including making staff schedules patient charting putting care plans etc all important data can securely stored and can be retrieved when required all these ultimately lead to a reduction in planning time and better assessment and evaluations. Physicians can use these systems to assess and monitor patients. Physician information systems are delivered through applications such as electronic medical records electronic health records and many more radiology information systems can be used in radiology billing services appointment scheduling as well as reporting and, and patient database storage 
Pharmacy information system helps pharmacists to main monitor how medication is used in hospitals. It helps users to supervise drug allergies and other medication related complications. Laboratory information system can use to test orders to lab instruments tracking these records and recording the results. Let's see what is the methodology that can use to apply HIS. There are several approaches. One is determine supporting activities of functions in a hospital next is the point of scale method which is around the patient the other is the top-down method this method build around corporate plan and targets and functional goals this approach relies on higher authority figures to determine larger goals that will filter down the task of lower level employees. In addition to that, there should be a local area network method and analogous system. Next, we we'll see how we can establish healthcare information system. Sorry, now we'll see what are the functional modules in hospital information system. There are two major categories in hospital information system. First one is clinical and second is administrative. So we'll see what are the clinical modules in HIS. So this HIS we can uh, use for ward management, OPD management, operation theater in CSSD, transfusion services, ambulance services, medical records, special unit management and so on. So as administrative functions we can use uh, this HIS uh, in front offices for registration, for appointments, for OPD administration, OPD billing, IPD billing, stores, pharmacy marketing, etc. Let's see what is the methodology that can use to apply HIS. There are several approaches to establish HIS. So it includes development of long term plan with short term and annual plan. Then you have to identify current operational problems and need for software solutions. Then you have to make phase wise de uh, deployment of solutions. Then after that you have to site visit and determine how the software and hardware enhances the work process. Then you have to identify the cost effective method of applying the software. Then placement of computers, printers in selected points and service centers and the cost. Then you have to determine the network configuration. Uh, lo I mean this network configuration may be local and other connections. Then you have to develop and plan for a training program. Then introduce audit and review systems operation delivery systems and finally you have to develop uh, the implementation strategy so this implementation strategy of healthcare information system includes policy scheduling and responsibilities for program implementation 
establishment of working committee and assigning responsibilities identifying and training the user group security policies for coordination and integration and uh, finally you have to show explicit involvement by top management key activities of his implementation includes determination of priorities defining architecture outsourcing needed activities evaluate and select solutions evaluate criterion of applications building computer premises acquire the resources install the equipment establish task force site visit and finally empower users resources needed for ins installing healthcare information system includes operating system that means software database management system antivirus softwares servers database backup drive ups terminals a common connection point for network called as hub manpower electronic data processing room and cables panels and outlets so finally we see what are the future technologies that we can apply in healthcare so this these technologies include telemedicine electronic health records smart cards digital libraries and multimedia So as a summary, uh, we can say the use of information technology in healthcare organization has grown in the same pattern as compared to the larger industry landscape. The use of web technology, database management systems and network infrastructure are part of information technology initiative that will effect on healthcare practice and administration. Okay. If you have any questions, you can direct um, them to me via mails or uh, via mobiles. Um, and thank you.